on this episode of Shia vs. Caesar. Will the Caesars be able to beat the Shia power of the Shias? That's the question. I don't know, so tune in. Alright, so maybe that was a bit of a stupid, cheesy intro there, but uh, that's the question. I got these Fisker Shears. They're actually called like Super Scissors or something like that. And we got the typical Fisker, typical scissors. Um, they're both made by Fiskers. So these I bought at Home Depot for about 13 bucks. Um, they can do gardening chores, household chores, whatnot. I'm gonna do some tests with both of them, all right? I've had these for a while, had these for even longer. Um, I have them both in my desk drawer. Whenever I cut paracord, I go for these. And I'll show you that in just a second with this right here. When I need to cut paper, I go for this. But this does the job too. So I'm just going to show you guys a little test here. Um, I probably won't do a full review on each of them because these are just scissors. These are my ultimate scissors. The blades are shorter on these because typically shear blades are or, um, or whatever they call them. All right, so here we go. We're going to do some tests on a stick or a twig. Uh, some cardboard and just a, an orange juice bottle that I pulled out of the trash can. So we're going to lower you guys down and let's do the test. All right. So I'm up here. Don't, you know, be scared. Uh, don't worry about me. What we're going to do first is try some cardboard. Uh, this is a cardboard box that the Arrowhead water bottles came in. And I'm just sitting down because it was going to be kind of awkward to stand up and cut and point the camera down and all that stuff. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to set the shears aside. So, typical scissors. Here we go. And we're going to leave the uh, plastic wrap on and everything. So start at the corner. Oh, son of a god. Now, I haven't tried this before either. So, okay, that didn't work. All right, so like in about 10 seconds time, Hopefully you saw that. Um, that's what happened right there. Um, cut down that and then down the whole body about an inch and a half, maybe an inch and three quarters. So not that much. Now let's try on the opposite side with the Fisker Ultimate Shears or Scissors. Oh, well, I think it's actually called Ultimate Craft Scissors. So here we go. This is the scissor cut. Now we're going to do Ultimate. Sorry if you can't see all this. Alright, so I'm guessing that was about 10 seconds time. This is what we did with the ultimate shears, scissors. Cut through that bottom part and almost over halfway, as you can see there, all the way down to half the barcode, which is over half the whole box length. Um, these guys... These guys have nice power that typical regular scissors don't. So pretty much this is my video uh, trying to persuade you to buy these things instead of those little crappy scissors that don't really do much of anything besides cut paper. All right, so there is our cardboard test. For cardboard test, ultimate shears win. Now for our next test, we're going to be cutting this Minute Maid a uh, jug of orange juice. Now there's obviously no orange juice in there. It's hollow. I finished it off this morning. Um, but we're, we're I'm going to be cutting this handle. All right. Now it is hollow, um, but it's also pretty thick, as you can see there. Okay. It's about as wide as a couple of my fingers. So first we're going to try the scissors, the just typical scissors. All right. So here we go. Uh, 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 this is putting a huge freaking, and I'm almost sweating here, strain on my thumb. God dang, that hurt. Oh my gosh. You know that feeling when you're cut with scissors and you get that ridiculous pain in your thumb? Right. So it did do the job, and now it smells like orange juice. Um, but let's try now 
with the ultimate shears and see what happens. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one. Dudes, two cuts and the handle is gone. Shear power of the shears, all right? Need you more convincing? Let's try one more thing. All right, so some of you guys are probably gardeners. You know, you, you uh, don't hire gardeners. That's not in focus. Um, you probably, you know, do your outside work by yourself. So we're gonna try to take this twig that's about a quarter of an inch thick and put it against both of these guys. So first, we're gonna do the scissors, as we have been doing. All right, let's do a spot where it's no, that wasn't that bad actually. Took what a second to cut through. Um, I don't know if it'll focus on that, but doesn't look like it is. Quarter inch took about a second. The scissors. This actually may be some. Uh, I don't know. One second for scissors. That was pretty good. Let's try the ultimate shears. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Yep, reduce. Man. Look at that clean cut. And I don't know what that is inside. Like tree marrow or something. Alright, so conclusion from today's episode of Shear vs. Scissor. Um, shears hands down win. Oh, we forgot one test though. Do -do -do -do. Here are the skizzers. Pull it. All right, am I looking cut? There we go. There, oh, pretty nasty cut too. Look at that. It's all frayed up and everything. Very ugly cut, right? Let's try other end. Ultimate, oops, that's the knot. Uh, let's try right here. Ultimate shears. Oh boy, yeah. All right, so on this episode, uh, shear versus scissor. Okay, shears win. Hands down. Uh, I mean, these things are awesome. This is why I bought them. They're like 13 bucks if I remember correctly. But it like it's so awesome because you know, such ergonomic grips. Um, it has the lock like you know garden shears do. Um, so it can open all the way to that, and you could close it, and then it will flip a do the locko, and toss it in the drawer. Home Depot, by the way, is where I picked it up. Obviously, Home Depot, orange, orange and black. Fisker, orange. See the similarities? I've been ultimately stupid in this uh, episode. But, uh, guys, go pick up this stuff, this uh, these shears, because, uh, gosh, paracord, a lot, of, a lot of you guys have paracord. Jeez, scissors were kind of a bitch to cut through paracord. Excuse the language, but... Uh, it just didn't do it for me. And then I got these guys and it's like snip, bam, done. No, no phrase and all that weird stuff. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like typical shears. One side is all serrated. The other edge is, um, yeah, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this side all serrated, this side off plain edge. And when you just mix that nasty combo together, it makes for a beautiful cutting tool. So... All right, guys, so there is first episode and probably the only episode of, hold on, of, do I need to say it again? I think you want me to say it again. Shia versus Sister! Woo! So, thank you all for watching. Take care. And um, feel free to do your own tests like these. Cut test. Ambulance. Shut up, please. I'm talking. And uh, post a video response, or post a comment, or do any of that good stuff in the area you do that in. Alright, so thank you all for watching. Have a great day.